All right, I've got a Kenwood 830S transceiver in the shop for repair. The issue is, is 40 meters is not operating properly. So right now we're in receive mode. I've got the calibrator on. You can see it's receiving, but there's no S meter deflection. Now if I go to 80, you see we have S meter deflection and it will peak. But when you go to 40, it's nothing and there's no peak. So something is not right on the receive section. Let's see if it's also affecting transmit. All right, I'm only gonna test this in tune mode. So I'm on 80 meters. There's my ALC. I can dip and I got about 30 watts out. Let's try the same thing now on 40, okay? Back to ALC. There's no ALC, no output. You can see my plate current is just laying there. So the issue is only on the 40 meter band. So what I'm gonna do is access the bottom of the RF board that has the 12BY7 driver and see if we just got some bad solder connections going to the input coils. Well, here's the RF board. It's got the band switch and the 12BY7 tube. I need to inspect the solder connections. It's not that easy of a task because there is another board and an access plate above it. So to gain access to the bottom of the RF board, I'm going to be lifting this board out of the way and there's a plate underneath I'll show you. But you want to absolutely make sure to check your power supplies and make sure they're discharged so you don't get a poke. So this is the AF unit and power supply. You can safely swing that up out of the way and then this bottom plate needs to be removed and we'll see the bottom of the RF board. I got the screws out of the plate and I use a dental pick I grab one of the holes and I'm able to lift it up. This wiring here needs to be pushed out of the way and this plate will slide out. Alright, the plate is removed. Now you can see the bottom of the RF board. Most of the connections look original. So I'm going to take a bright light and a magnifying glass and inspect these connections and repair the ones I see that are cracked. Also, when you're in here, Take a look at the pins on the 6146s. If those connections are original, I guarantee you they're going to be cracked too. So I'm going to be taking the A30 in to my other bench where I have better lighting to inspect and take care of solder connections. But take a look at that wire right back there where it says drive. That blue wire has been removed at one time. It was overheated. Insulation's melted and laying right on that ground trace. So we are definitely going to replace that wire. So check this out. I pulled that blue wire off the drive board. Look at the connection. It wasn't even soldered. I'm surprised I got any output off of this 830. Here's a close up of those 6146 pins. You can see pretty much every one is cracked. Somebody's been in here doing some work and there's a lot of rosin on the board which I'll be cleaning off. I've got the new drive wire connected and then I move over to the RF unit. Alright, I got the 30 back together. We're back on the 80 meter band. You can see my calibrator signal. And I can peak it. Now, let's check 40 meter because that's the one where it was pretty much dead. There she is. Now, I'm getting signal strength. So some of the work that I did obviously fixed the major issue, but now what I notice is there's no peak on that calibrator signal as compared to 80 meters. You see she peaks. So my guess is, is when this problem came up in the past, Somebody thought they'd just get in there and start adjusting those band pack coils, trying to get 40 meters back. 
So I'm going to have to go in there and test the alignment. But I'm sure that's what's going on. But it is looking promising. I'm not going to show details of the tuning of the coils. However, if you get on Mike's radio repair, he a, has a video point pin and shove a on a 530 the for the that he's one. doing the same alignment on. front ones are rather small. And it's a it's really great video for right reference. Log, but you Check can make out. your own out of wood. Just make sure it's something that's... All right, as I suspected, somebody did crank on the coils for the 7 megahertz band. I've got them readjusted. You see my estimator's working. If I go to tune, I got ALC about 30 watts out. And there is CW. Got full power back.